So in uh, this video, I'm actually gonna teach you something, uh, something that you might actually want to understand, and it's how inflation is calculated. And I was watching another YouTuber, Andre Jink, I believe is his name, and he used the example of an avocado and a dragon fruit, which I'll repeat to you, but I will put my own example for you right now that is more relatable to this channel. So let's say that the avocado that we normally eat, we go to the grocery, buy an avocado, we're trying to make some guacamole or something, and it's a dollar. And Joe Biden takes office, things go to shit, you know, and now the avocado that we are used to paying a dollar for is two dollars. You would then, based on just the avocado, which again, in in terms of how you calculate inflation, you have a basket of goods, if you will, consumer index, a basket of goods. Um, the avocado is just one item in our basket, but let's say our the item went from a dollar to two dollars, we would say, oh, inflation went up 100%. That would be how normal people would think about how inflation is calculated. Now, how the government messes with its number is the government has something called equivalency which means that the avocado, which you're gonna make your guacamole with, has gone up too much. So instead of that, we need to find an equivalent to the avocado at the lowest price, the lowest gain possible. And that would be the dragon fruit. The dragon fruit went from a dollar to a dollar 25. Only a 25% increase. Therefore we put it, instead of putting the avocado we normally buy into a basket of goods, we put the dragon fruit because it's cheaper. And we base inflation on this equivalency, if you will. In magic, we would have, you know, an alpha card, let's call it. And let's say the alpha card, we, it's too expensive for us. And it's gone up a lot. Why don't we use the beta card? Oh, the beta card's too expensive. It's went up a lot. We'll use the unlimited. Oh, the unlimited card. We'll use revised. But all you really wanted was an alpha card. But you were forced to buy the beta card because the alpha card went up too much in price. The same can be said about sports cards and so on. So instead of buying, you know, instead of looking at the first year LeBron James card, the rookie card, which is really important, we have to buy a second year and that will be the equivalent. So your basket of goods, let's say it has some steak, some lamb chops, you know, some lobster rolls and some sushi and some, you know, really, really good, you know, avocado. That basket has been replaced equivalency with now dragon fruit, some potato, and some, you know, asparagus. Now, asparagus is expensive. They always charge you extra in steakhouses. Um, let's call it some celery. So instead of having asparagus and steak, we now have potatoes and celery. <laughs> what the heck? Like, <laughs> what? No, you know what? We need to make the guacamole. We cannot replace the avocado with dragon fruit. <laughs> you know, we can't do that. And that is, uh, this is, uh, oh my gosh. A lot of the numbers you, you hear on TV and the news and you know whatever news, it's not that they're fake. They're real numbers. It's just that the way they calculate them, in my opinion, is not what normal people would think of these numbers, right? So if you were thinking, oh, hey, you know, how much did things go up in price? How much did inflation go up? You would think that, oh, hey, how much did the avocados go up? How much did the gas go up? How much? So when we look at the gas, the energy, the water, like I live in Houston, we're in like a drought or something. We're supposed to conserve water. And the mother effing water bill is like four times the price now. But it's, it's like either your water or your grass dies because it's 100 degree weather every day now. And if your grass dies, I can tell you, if you want to replace dead grass, it's going to cost you way more than the water. So, I mean, just water away. <laughs> That's my, 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 my thing is because like, if you stop watering, the grass is just going to die. And you got to replace the grass. It'll cost several thousands of dollars instead of several hundreds of dollars of water. So I'd much rather water and not have to hire to do. Because sometimes even when they replace the grass, it all just dies because it doesn't, you know, it's kind of like um, a liver. Maybe it's, it was rejected by the micro, I don't know, the ecosystem, the micro ecosystem of your backyard. Um, so... My point is very simple. Things have got outrageously expensive. And there are mother efforts telling you to buy sports cards right now and buy some more magic cards. Buy some modern masters, double, double masters. Yeah, dude, if you got the money, enjoy yourself, man. 
Most of the people who are listening right now don't got that type of money. They simply do not. I have that type of money. Even I feel very guilty eating lobster rolls every day because again, you know, it, it's expensive. You know, the price of lobster has gone up from 7.99 pound all the way up to like at HEB, it was uh, for 4th of July, it was 20, uh, no, it was 34.99 pound. I went to the HEB to buy some lobster to eat with my sister, my niece and nephew. It was 34, 29.99, 34, something like that. It was like crazy. We bought her birthday cake. <laughs> that was like, expensive as hell. I was like, huh, you know, it's, it's, uh, so they know how to get you. They know how to get you to spend. If you don't have the money, so you, you have to understand this. If I tell you to save money, don't buy cards, save money. Worst case, okay, the cards become slightly more expensive and the economy's better and everyone's doing fine. Hey, what's the wrong with that? There's nothing wrong with that. Man, we're in the clear, the economy's good. We don't have hyperinflation. Joe Biden may not be president no more. I mean, well, I mean, we'll just aim for the moon, right? Let's aim for the moon. Well, okay. What if the economy goes the way I tell you it goes and that you should save money and it gets really bad? You're gonna be grateful for every mother effing dollar you save. Because that's grocery bills, that's food costs, that's electricity. Your electricity isn't cut off in the middle of winter or summer, whatever season we're in. That is water bill, so your grass doesn't die. That's dog food, that's premium dog food. That's your emergency vet visit, emergency physical visit, because you're old now. That's a lot of things you could use that money for other than sports cards, Pokemon cards, magic cards, Meta Zoo, flesh and blood. Okay, worst case scenario, I told you to save money. You save money, economy blew up, and your Pokemon cards are to the moon. Okay, cool. You, you can always buy the Pokemon cards. The economy is better. Your job is stable. Hey, everyone's feeling good. Worst, that's the worst case if I'm telling you to save money. No, I mean, it's, it's, I have kind of reversed, or right? I have, have it kind of flipped because I'm telling you to save money. How many mother efforts are telling you to save money right now? How many of these efforts are telling you to buy double masters, buy double masters, buy double masters? Why? <laughs> Why? I don't understand. Because the double master box will go up a tiny bit in price, maybe 20, 25% at most at, by the end of the year. Okay, put that aside and think about the risk of not having any money and losing your job. Yes, one is probably more likely than the other. But at the same time, I, like I talked about Apple, Google, they're, they're rescinding job. This is how I know things are bad. When an Apple or Google, a Meta, whatever these companies are, the Shopify recently, when they offer an internship, an internship, which costs them no money, there's no long-term contract, there's nothing, right? It's just a three-month internship, a two-month internship at Shopify, which they know will really help this candidate. This candidate applied for a job, got a job, got a, applied for an intern, got an internship offer, didn't, you know, stopped applying for other ones, accepted internship offer, and now got pulled from them. Why? Is Shopify really that stuck up for money? And the answer is yes. That they have to save these small little chains, pocket chains, that would go into paying these interns who would most likely work for free for them if asked. Yes. Netflix, uh, Peloton, I can name the company, Google, Meta, I can go on and on. They're rescinding job offers left and right. Wall Street. I have never, outside of 2008, when I graduated NYU and I had my job offer rescinded from a big investment company, if you will, I've never really seen this amount of huge companies rescinding job offers in the tech field ever since I've been there. This is very surprising and it's honestly horrifying because it's telling me that they don't even, like Shopify, for Shopify to rescind an internship offer that blows my mind because how much does that internship offer cost them? Nothing, almost not. I mean, in terms of how much they make, a very small amount. And why are they doing it? Is because they actually need that small amount. They need that cash flow. And people are getting laid off. People are losing their jobs. And now we have, now if I explain inflation, if I explain it correctly to you, you understand what I mean. So instead of having a bag of, you know, goods that you want, asparagus and steak, 
you've been replaced by asparagus has been replaced by celery and the steak has now been replaced by chicken because they are equivalent yes chicken and celery is probably not the worst dish and probably not your healthier but it, in my opinion it's not equivalent and it's not fair for them to use this type of calculation if i want my uh, mother effing avocado to make my guacamole i do not want them to replace it with a dragon fruit so if I go to the grocery store to buy an avocado, and the avocado is not not a dollar, it's two dollars. I'm still buying that avocado for two dollars. I don't I, I don't give a damn what the dragon fruit price is because I'm not going to buy it. I'm trying to make guacamole, like. Whoa. But that's what the government wants you again. You know, a Andre Jink, if you, if you watch his videos, he's he's used this analogy, but I didn't think he went far enough with the guacamole because you're buying the avocado for a specific reason. And it's not like it can be replaced because you're making a product like guacamole that you need the avocado to make. So the government says, oh, well, you know, we don't need avocados anymore. You can use a uh, dragon fruit. That's not right. But that's how they're doing their math. Hi, <laughs> guys.